Today we are looking at the new electric scooter. This is the Mankeel Silverwings model. This should be a compact and very sleek kick push design scooter. Yeah, this thing is pretty light. Uh, let's see what's inside and uh, let's go over the specs. T tool. Two amps charger, 42 volts. So the front stem or handlebars goes up and just push it gently down. Here we got four screws and a T tool. Have a very nice display here. But before we power it on. I'll have to charge it fully, but it is 14 kilograms only. And look at this hinge here, look at the mechanism, how it folds. So this comes out, look at this opening, and the wires are going through, it's not catching anything. You clip it in, and then the plastic comes over and clicks. It's all covered. So open it, push it out, open it. Very clever design. No wires hanging, everything is concealed, better waterproof, water resistant, and I like the click. Precision work here, very well done. The charging port right here in between, doesn't interfere with your feet. Very beautiful deck and uh, very nice design. We don't have suspension on this model. This is the look under the scooter, very clean, everything covered. 10 inch uh, wheels, and these are pneumatic wheels. We have 36 volt system, 350 watt motor, 10 inch, peak power output, 500 watts. This is not your average cheap scooter, and I'll take it outside so I have more light and we can see better. Now we're still charging. Look at the side light. We'll power it on and see how it works and how it looks, but I don't know if the camera can capture this, but feels really well put together. Everything is well designed. Look at the welds. Look how nicely it's done. This is all aluminum. Look at the deck, the rubber. All the parts don't feel cheap. It's super light, has maximum put 500 watts, which is really nice for the city. Look at this welds. Look how beautiful it's done. The paint work. Everything just screams quality. So we'll take it outside and see how it feels, but so far, Look at this nut here, how safety here is uh, inserted and the covers, the screws, everything looks really well put together. The rear brake, here we have the throttle, we have the on off button, very nicely inserted, uh, like a little clip to hold your uh, little bag of groceries or maybe your, you know, like working bag that you can just uh, mount it there. Starting from the handlebars down, it looks like a hammerhead shark. Very good aerodynamics flow with a hidden folding mechanism, battery smooth opening and closing. Finally, we have a scooter with all the wires hidden inside the frame and curved smooth lines. Really elegant scooter design. Perfectly welded frame and look here, it is so well done. The plastic covers transition into metal so well, you don't see where it starts or ends. There are no visible screws or nuts connecting the parts. Really well integrated design frame. It does not look like the other cheap scooters under $1000 level. It says on their website that it was designed by the Porsche team and yes, it looks special and it has that feeling or resemblance. The European and US models are the same and we have the 25 km an hour limitation that I don't like, but these are the European city requirements in order to be legal there and I'll test that out and see how this works in New York City and if it's comfortable and helpful commuting here. This model comes with an app that has uh, the status of the vehicle, mileage display, anti-theft lock and settings, which is big with the battery status. I wasn't able to connect unfortunately, I'll try to troubleshoot with the company later. Speed. The scooter reached and maintained 25 to 26 km an hour top speed as advertised. In some areas I hit 26 and 27 km an hour. A lighter rider definitely can reach higher speeds on flat or slight declines. Torque. From start it's good, not too powerful, not too weak. I think with these settings they hit a sweet spot. Very comfortable for any rider at any level. 
rated power 350 watts, peak output power 500 watts, waterproof IP54 rating, on level 1 I hit 15 km an hour, level 2 20 km an hour, level 3 25 to 27 km an hour. To switch levels you need to tap the power button, which I find a bit weird but doable. I think placing that button on the handlebars will make more sense. Range. Advertised 18 to 21 miles, I was able to get only 10 miles and maximum speed setting, but I have to let you know I'm heavy. I weigh 220 pounds, I think for this size battery the results are really good, a rider between 100 pounds to 175 will get much closer to advertised specs. Incline 18 degrees and I climb pretty much all the small and medium hills in the city pretty easy with no trouble. Speeds were between 17 to 21 km an hour and torque was pretty good. I like the lights, the side panels, the rear brake light, it's very visible and helpful in New York City traffic. The scooter is light and easy to carry, storing or placing in the trunk of your car, not a problem. Folds fast and easy in case if you need to hop on the bus or subway. Maximum load 120 kilograms. This model is designed to be user-friendly, comfortable and intuitive for any type of rider. We have a legible, good coloring screen showing the battery capacity, the power settings, speed in real time, range you covered and time you traveled on the scooter. Man Kill Silver Wing Scooter, it's elegant, with a slick design, compact and super light, not sacrificing performance. You'll definitely look apart on this model compared to similar price level scooters. Overall I think this is a beautiful design with mild specs that is well designed for safe commuting. I would love to see this brand coming up with the same exact design but performance level scooter. Beefed up with 30 miles an hour top speed and 40 miles in range. Guys, this was a detailed review of the Mankeel Silver Wing scooter. If you find this review informative, please like and share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.